16th chapter. Second Chronicles, let's write that down. First Chronicles. And it is vacation time. And we got folks that come coming and going and everything. I think Brother Leon speaking on, on the mountain. We're traveling on vacation. We're friends on vacation. Different ones on vacation. I'm not even trying to keep up with it anymore. But uh, as you guys go on vacation, uh, be careful. Just pray to God. But just keep his hands on you and enjoy yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Second Chronicles 16, chapter 9, verse. You've heard me quote this a lot. Never to speak on it. But it speaks, and it speaks, it reads as this For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the world, whole earth, to show himself strong in, be, in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. And I have done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Again, let me just read that first part of the ninth verse. And, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 9. And here's what I want you to get today. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth Amen. to show thyself, show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards it. And I want to use as a subject, has God's eye caught your heart? Mm. Or has your heart caught God's eye. Let's put it that way. Has your heart caught God's eye? Most gracious and eternal God, Father, I give you praise and thanks for this time. And, uh, God, my heart is full. And uh, I'm just asking you to have your way. Uh, touch in a special, special way, God. That, uh, you let me say everything you want me to say and not anything that you don't want me to say. Lord, I'll never be able to give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was praying this morning about souls, and that's, all, that's one of the ways that I, I base what we're doing, if we're, we're on the right track or not. Amen. If souls have been saved. I've seen churches go years, 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 and years, and years, and years, and years, and nobody gets saved. And I wonder what in the world is going on. But when I see souls being saved and giving their life to the Lord, babies or grown, whatever, and I always pray, if you're here and you don't know the Lord, you stop me at any time. You interrupt me. You, you cut in. Whatever you want to bother me a bit. Amen. Amen. Uh, and she said, I said, do you want to wait till I get up? I said, no, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> uh, has your heart caught the eyes of God? In our, in our, in our text, in our text, if you begin to read this, 14th and 15th chapter. Uh, if you look in the 15th chapter, it says that Asa heart was perfect before God. Amen. He had a perfect heart. In other words, he had a committed heart. He, he, was, he, he was that way before God, and, and, and he was perfect in all his days. In other words, like I say, he didn't live perfect, he made a mistake. But his heart was committed to the Lord. And then all of a sudden, Asa turns around and he makes a deal with the king of Syria mm -hmm. instead of trusting God like he has. So that lets you know that you can start off with a heart committed and law to Amen. God. Amen. Amen. A heart that has surrendered to God. And then you can turn around and mess that up. When Saul was, was king, God he said, God changed his heart. He gave him another heart to rule, but as he went on and stuff, he got caught up in idols and all those things, and he went back. So we see the same thing happening with, with Asa. He had a heart that was loyal to him. He had a heart that was complete to God, but something went wrong. He quit trusting God. He quit trusting the power of God. Mm -hmm. He made this deal with the king of Assyria, and if you look at 16 verse 7, it says, And at that time, Hananiah the prophet, the seer, came to Asa, the king of Judah, and he said unto them, Because thou have relied on the king of Syria, and not relied on the Lord thy God, therefore is the host of the king of Syria escaped out of thy hands. Mm -hmm. And he said, Didn't I do something with the Ethiopians? Well, what about the Ethiopians and the Luke? He said, A huge host, who had very many cherished and heartless, yet because thou did not rely on the Lord, Amen. 
he delivered them into thy hand because you relied on him. He did. And then he gives this great revelation that all of us did. He says, the eyes of the Lord go to and fro, to and fro throughout the earth to show himself strong on behalf of those who are, are, are loyal to him, who are perfect to him, who, who have a perfect heart, uh, to, who prefer him, who are, oh man, there's so many words you can lose to that, who are complete to him, oh, that, that, that heart to have. And so we can find the truth. We can find the truth in this for us today. Do you have a heart for the Lord? For us today, we learn that He searches. Mm -hmm. We learn that God is searching yes, each Lord. and every day throughout this whole earth. And, and that word search, I looked it up. <coughs> search means to look for something, mm -hmm. to find, or to uncover. And that's just what God is doing. Right. He is on a search. And he's searching the hearts of His people. Amen. <laughs> Why is he looking for those that he can in the heart? Why? Because he wants to show himself strong. He wants to show them himself. He wants to strengthen us in all our circumstances, all our trials, all our difficulties. And he wants to show his might on behalf of those that are loyal to him. On behalf of those that, that are committed to him. On behalf of those whose heart is complete. And so all through the scriptures, all through the scriptures, we find those that God strengthened in him. Amen. Amen. I look at it. Moses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Felt like he couldn't do it, bringing people out of Egypt. God strengthened him. Yes, Shadrach, we preach that all the time. Shadrach, Meshach, and the God. Mm -hmm. In the furnace. Amen. Because they trusted him. Yes, Didn't rely on doing what the king said. Well, don't kneel down. They trusted God. And God's out, and that was from the heart. And he brought them out of the third furnace. Daniel in the lion's den. God shut the lion's mouth up. Daniel wouldn't bow down and break. Peter, John, opening up prison doors, all these things. And I even see it today. Of people who trust God that you wouldn't think. How'd they do that? How did that happen? All right. They 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 they, they ain't gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. What they gonna do with them few little people? Mm -hmm. What are they trying to do? Mm -hmm. Neither one of them ain't got no sins. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking <laughs> at us, <laughs> but they failed to see what God was seeing because God saw hearts that were loyal to Him, <laughs> that were trusting Him and relying. Of his might and not relying on anybody else. Amen. And today God is still searching. Today he's searching for hearts that will trust him. He's searching for hearts that will rely on him. He's searching for hearts that will look to him yes. for help. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and a lot of people say, well, you no, know, I just do whatever I want to do and live the way I want to live and yeah. then. When I need him, I'll yell at him. You know, he's a good guy. He'll come to me. But it was, a, I think it was Second Second Chronicles 15, too. Listen, and, this, and this was what he'd already told Asa what I would do. He'd already gave Asa what he said. And he went out to the prophet. He sent the prophet to him. And he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa, in all of Judea and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you be with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. We don't think about God forsaking us. But if we turn our back up, he said, you'll call me and I won't answer. You'll seek me early and I won't be there. He said, I'll laugh at your calamity. We don't see him that way. We don't think of him that way. We don't look at him that way. But too many times we get caught up with emotions and stuff. And, 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 and today, few people are living with a heart right with God. Huh? 
They don't bear any fruit, the Spirit. Mm. They don't pray. They don't read the Bible. We just, you, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be mean today. I'm happy today. But, you know, it's sad. I can understand how the world's at. I, the, the, the world seems angry. Amen. And, and, and I admit, the world don't be the world. Amen. The world, the thing is, the world just doesn't blow me away. Amen. But it hurts when I see how the church is acting. Amen. It breaks my heart when I see how, how folks that send their children to God, man, and mean. Amen. Mean, hateful. Amen. Don't like each other. Will say anything. But watch out how you rub Christian. See him wanting to fight and everything. I had, we, we, we do mountain movers. We do this thing called mountain movers. And uh, we, 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 uh, we have this thing where we come together. And it's just a blessing. All the churches are coming together. The ministers are coming together. Different people like And we're doing some wonderful things. We have the foster kids and doing all kinds of things and stuff like that. And, and so Taz will started a charter herself. Taz would be coming, they looked, so they started them a group. And so the guy, he said he got up, he was at the meeting one day, here a couple weeks ago, yeah, this week ago, we'll meet next week. He said, uh, how did y'all get people to start coming to the mountain movers and get this thing right? And uh, we said, uh, what is this? He said, why well, keep getting doors slammed in my face? And I said, well, brother, I said, start with the churches. Go to the churches and, and ask them to be a part. He said, they the ones that slam in the door in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 we, and we see that. And, and, we, and, I, and I'm going, what's going on with, with, with those that say we're God's people? What's going on with the church? What's happening? We don't see any fruits. We don't see any love, peace, and joy, and long suffering, and all these things. We'll go off on something. Don't pray. We don't read. Well, here's the thing. God's watching. <laughs> God's watching. Proverbs 15.3 says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil in the good. You ever think about that? God's watching. He's going through the whole earth. Look at him. He sees something. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. He's omnipotent. He's omnipotent. God knows him. He's not looking for uh, some great rich person. He's not looking at, at world leaders. He's not looking at world situations. He's not looking for, for who, who we think is, is got it all together, but he's looking for somebody that has a heart that's loyal to him. He's looking for somebody that's willing to trust him. What's he going to do? He wants to show himself strong in your life. He wants to build you up. He wants to be there for you. If you want you to rely on him, just to trust in the Lord with all the heart. He will strengthen those who acknowledge him and follow him or favor him. That's all right. Today, God's searching hearts Amen. that will trust him, that will lie on him, and look to him fully for help. So many times, we worry about what people think about us Amen. instead of what God is worried talking about. We think about what uh, is going on with, with, with different folks. We have, we have our own thought about who should be great? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit. But we have our own thoughts about who's going to be great and who's going to be this and who's that. And one of the most beautiful stories in the scripture comes from 1 Samuel 16. God has sent Samuel, the prophet Samuel, to Jesse's house to pick out a king. Amen. Saul had blew it. His heart had changed. And so God had qualifications. And Samuel had his father what God was going to do. And so he's calling all Jesse's sons 
And all of a sudden, here comes uh, Eliab. Eliab was good looking. Eliab was tall. Eliab comes strutting down through there. And Samuel said, true, this is the Lord's anointing. The Lord told Samson, mm-mm. That ain't really what he said, but that's what he said. He, 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 he goes on, but he says, look not on his countenance. That's all right. On the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. For right. man looking at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Yeah. My Lord, my God. He's seeking. Yes, going yes. through that earth. And, 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 and some of you sitting up here right now, and you got a heart for God, and, and you love the Lord, and, you, and you're not doing this, you're not doing, and you're just sitting here, and you're thinking you're not important, and God's already spotted you. <laughs> he said, I, you caught my eye. Not because of anything about you, not because of your money, not for where you live, or the color of your skin, anything else. He said, you caught my eye. Why? Because of your heart. Because of what's on the inside. I mean, I mean, and, and, and sometimes God would deal with me and say, I want to use him. And just catches me right off of it. Y'all remember Sue? Sue was, y'all remember Sue? You know, Sue, Sue's help wasn't very good. Sue always sit back there on the back. And uh, I would walk down, I would always see it on the way back. And I didn't bother Sue. You know, every once in a while she'd come up, she'd read the scripture and stuff. And I, I, she told me a little bit about her life, man. And I'm like, whoa, man. <laughs> and one day, I come down, and she was sitting there. And God just kind of spoke to me and said, I'm going to use her. Yeah. See, y'all, 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 y'all look at the preacher kind of funny when I say God spoke to him in the heart. You know, you say, what did you say, buddy? Really? Did you hear him? And I was louder than that. He spoke to my heart. And, 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 and he said, I want to use her. That's all right. And I'm going. Well, she ain't able. Bless the Lord. What can I let her do? And he said, I want to use her. And I said, Lord, what, what, what's going on? Amen. And she said, he said, let her keep the keys. So we got through the service, and I, I went up to her, I said, Sue, I need to talk to you, man. And she said, okay. She looking at me scared. Anytime the pastor said, I want to talk to you, I'm oh, Lord. <laughs> I said, will you keep the keys of the church and, and keep up with them and, and give out, when somebody needs a key, give out the keys and keep up the keys and, and keep down until we got the keys and all that stuff like that? She just started crying. She just broke down right there and started crying. And I'm going, oh, Lord, what did I do? And she was bawling. And I said, I'm sorry. I want you to keep the keys. She said, I've been praying. I've been praying and asking God to let me do something. Lord, I want to serve you. Come down way. I know I ain't able. I know my health. Knees hurt, this hurt, and I just want to do something for you to serve you. She said, I've been praying for God to let me do something, and you asked me to keep the keys. What was it? God saw her heart.
He wants to sell himself. And, 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 and he wants to be there for you at your roughest time. When you're going through it. When you're hurting. When you don't know what you When you look like you're up the wall and you can't see a way out. He doesn't want you to, to run to somebody else. He wants you to run to him. Amen. He said, because I saw the heart. He said, the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong to him on behalf of the hearts of those that are loyal to him. Not the person who just shows up here and says, well, I, I like that. Thank God for that. Not the person that's got a lot of money. Amen. Not the person that's just so good looking like me. You can't do that bad enough. I'm telling you, man, when we get our heart right, Amen. when we get our heart right, Thank you, Lord. oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. God will show out for you. God will show up in your heart. Yes, right. When you're doing it out of the abundance of your heart, when you're doing it because of, man, when your heart's right, Amen. He's going to step in every single day. I know it for a fact. Amen. He will step in every single day. I see folks, man, I thought with them, I see folks that got jobs and they shouldn't even have them. Amen. Folks just, man, couldn't make it. Amen. Just couldn't make it. Just itching and squinching and stuff and and God said, I got them covered. Yeah. <laughs> I got them covered. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm telling somebody here today, man, if your heart is right with God, everything's going to be all right. Amen. You got that for me, Danny. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say my song. I can't even remember. Y'all can't even find it? Danny's shaking his head going, no, nah, we ain't got that. In other words, you don't want to hear it. You got it. <laughs> I say this when I think somebody's needs. Yes. And I know I sound like a broke whip, but I'll keep saying it to the, uh, to the day y'all carry me to Temple Hill. And I don't know, I might wake up then and sing it one more time. <laughs> 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 y'all just slide me in that little thing. I go, everything! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying today. That's what I'm saying. If your heart, if your heart is loyal to God, if your heart is committed to God, if your heart is is, is first thing, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what's coming. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Amen. It's gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. If you want to come to the top of my saying, you can come. You want to wake up and get through, you can come. You don't know Jesus, you need to come. But whatever's going on, pray to Jesus. He sees your heart this morning. Anybody, come right on. Glory to God. I can't hear it.